I think we've all heard that saying at some point in our lives, the early bird gets the worm. Problem is, they're not always after worms. If like me, you're growing your own fruit and veg, they've got a very keen interest in the fruit part. Things like strawberries, blackberries, blueberries. And if you don't try and protect those to some extent against them birds, you'll be very lucky if you get anything. But there's something else that's different this year that I've never noticed happen before. Birds are starting to come into the greenhouses, especially magpies, two and three at a time. And of course, it's really hot inside your greenhouse through summer. So you have your doors open just to give your plants a bit of airflow. And then you come back up the garden and three magpies come flying out I've never seen that before, to be honest. So I'm just assuming that they're in there trying to peck away at these cucumbers and tomatoes. Because there's no sweet berries in there, in any of the greenhouses. So we've got to do something about that. Because if they start pecking at your fruit, they're going to ruin it. They're going to make holes in all your tomatoes and your cucumbers. And they might not eat the entire thing. But once they've pecked a few holes in it, it's pretty much ruined. So we've took a few precautions against these birds because it's bad enough. Originally, all we really had to worry about were pigeons. But now, the birds seem to be getting a little more keen and a bit braver at the same time. So we've got to go that little bit farer to protect our crops. So this is one of the things that we're having to do at the moment. Just an old piece of netting I've got and we're just pinning it in front of doors. So that way we can actually open them, let some air in, but the birds won't go in there. As long as we keep it pinned down at the bottom. And that should keep them out. We're basically having to do that to every greenhouse. But any type of netting will do. Ideally, some black netting would be better, it wouldn't stand out as much, but just to save some fruit for the moment, I'm using that. And I've been in here this morning, just checking around these fruits. Just checking that they haven't been pecking holes in anything. And obviously they're going to go for all your low level fruit, like all your tomatoes hanging at the bottoms. And I can't see any damage at the moment, but that's good because we're trying to prevent that from happening to start with. But any fruits that you've got like this, that's going to be laying on floor almost, they're going to be the first target. I'll just pin that up. We don't want it on this floor either because it's a bit wet, and then it's going to start and rot this fruit. So always keep your fruit off the floor anyway. But now I don't see any damage. So maybe we spotted that just in time. And that's why we're doing this with the strawberries all the time. Because otherwise they're gonna get got. You've got to keep everything covered up. Just an old piece of netting like that will do the job. And I've also noticed they're always in this chicken pen as well, eating chicken's food. I'm constantly having to refill that bowl. And we're also going to have to net the strawberry tower. Because in areas it's perfect for them to perch on while they munch at any nearby strawberries. Also, we need to keep his eye out for right ones and get them off as soon as we can. So, this is going to be another one that we're going to have to throw a net over, I think.
At least we've still got some blueberries left. But we have actually already lost fruit from this raspberry plant, but we have got some more now. So, might be a good idea to take those off. Because this is a perfect perch for them to stand on while they eat that. We'll just pop that on windowsill until it's still ripening a little bit more. So, for the moment, all entrances to what greenhouses are covered with these nets. Until I can find some that looks a bit better. So you can see what I'm getting at with this little problem with birds. It used to be that all I bothered about was I'm pulling up the uh, the cabbage seedlings once they were planted out because it is a pigeon's favourite. But now we seem to have birds that are willing to go that little bit farther just to get that bit of fruit. To the point where they're in greenhouses when I go to close them at night. And of course then they start flying around, bashing into all windows, almost knocking the glass panes out. But on top of that, they're bashing into your plants, causing damage. If they've not already done some damage to start with by pecking at your fruit. And if you don't notice them doing that, and they peck little holes in your fruit, then bugs are going to get in there, and then your fruit's going to go bad. So if you've had any problems extra this year with birds let me know in comments because as i said it just seems that they're willing to go that a little bit farther this particular year to get what they want and i don't want to be spending all this season growing blueberries strawberries and raspberries to feed birds because i'm trying to get a glut of things like that so we can freeze them and save them for when we need them which is what i'm going to be doing this afternoon freezing up a batch of strawberries that we've got extra because we know they only last so long even in fridge anyway if you want to see what else we do over the next few weeks and please just hit that subscribe button press that notifications bell and we'll see you on next update you all take care thank you very much